What's up guys? It's Toby with the Upstate Pickers YouTube channel and today I have an amazing video idea that I want to share with you guys. I want to find out if you go to richer neighborhoods or richer areas, do the thrift stores have better items? Do the items resell for more because the better item? I don't know if this is true. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. But I'm headed to Simpsonville, South Carolina. All right. We are at a richer area, the north side of Spartanburg, to say the least. So we're at a Goodwill. This thing is looks huge. We're ready to go in. What are we looking for today? What are, what are some things that you're looking out for today? Do you have any things on your mind you want to find? Not today. Usually I do. But I've never been to this one, so I'm excited. So... The electronics look more like more like lamps, but <laughs> we could find anything to resell, man. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that. Huh? Yes, ma'am. If I could just look at it. Okay. Are the prices firm on these? Six, Seventy dollars. Yes. Oh, they're firm? Yeah, that's all seven. Okay. All right, I'm good. Thank you. That's a little too high. Yeah. Can I look at these over here? Uh, the, the remotes? Yeah. All righty. 60 bucks. Let's see. One, two. Okay. Do you know if any of this works? I have no idea. We don't have an idea. We don't test. Okay. But, um, if you buy it and something's wrong, just keep it stock and keep it receipt and you get store credit, so. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll look into it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Unbelievable, car. dude. They had a, a, a Nintendo Wii with three controllers, but they wanted $60. A lot of stuff here is really... I was just about to say, I said maybe the, the, the idea of this video has changed. Not stuff that she got. Either. I don't even know if that's going to work, but I love clocks, so I kind of got that for me. Um, I just want to look up these shoes because they look brand new for, for the most part. Did you go one? I'm just going to look up the brand it's called. What are these for? Merrill Select Group Shoes. This is work for? Up, and they're selling for around $100. So that's everything I've got in other than, what is this? A card? Okay. Fun time kid Mickey Mouse. Let's look at it. Gotta check the comps, but these things are old, man. These are like cassette tapes of Star Wars. These are like me now. Google Lens, nothing. No idea. But she's gonna get them. The only thing that I'm getting are these shoes because I think there's a different idea for this video. So with the idea I came up with whether or not Goodwill, if you go to a nicer area, do they have nicer items? What I realized is that yes and no. Sometimes the items may be better brands that are being donated from people who are more wealthy. Therefore, it would make logical sense that the brands would be better, which is a decent proposition, right? However, you which makes an which makes even more sense is that with the better items higher the price right it makes sense if say you go to a goodwill and they have a crappy off-brand you know fake adidas and you go to a goodwill that has a real adidas the real adidas should cost more right that that all makes sense what happens when you go to a goodwill in a rich neighborhood i'm going to show you guys right here here at i just want to show you guys this because not many people know this i typed in goodwill opening ebay ebay.com goodwill san francisco has their own ebay store with their own like all these items right oh so not nine times out of ten my thrift stores that i go they take all the high luxury items or good things and then they send them shop goodwill.com to be auctioned off sometimes they have things that are brand new that come from retail stores and they auction them on. A lot of times, items that are in your Goodwill are going straight to the Shop Goodwill auction and not even hitting the shelves in your store. As you guys saw, this Goodwill has their own eBay store. Not only that, they have 5,000 followers. What, what I'm concerned about is the future of reselling by going to thrift stores 
where charities and other thrift stores that are not family owned and that are not local what does the future hold for that if you're a reseller i want your opinion does this guy does this does this scare you does this make you feel any type of way 60 dollar console on an 80 dollar xbox i tested the xbox in the store it wouldn't turn on with the power cords um and they wanted eighty dollars for it all the items are going to shopgoodwill.com and if they don't they're marked up to retail i've never been to a goodwill where the average shoe price was ten dollars usually adult shoes cost five dollars and like 40 cents and kid shoes cost like four dollars and then like little toddler shoes cost like three dollars they had little kid shoes that cost like eight dollars in there and, and and they were crappy little off-brand paw patrol shoes and i'm just like this is ridiculous if you're not familiar this is shop goodwill it clearly says liquidation auction wholesale um this is where most of all the cool things and it says um if you didn't know goodwill mostly hires disabled workers however um i don't get into politics on my youtube channel but i just want to make a quick disclaimer just real quick i live in the state of south carolina currently south carolina has over 1,000 employees who are legally paid less than the minimum wage and goodwill is one of the companies that pays their employees four dollars an hour i just want you guys to keep that in mind because when they pay their employees four dollars an hour and they're selling an xbox that doesn't work for eighty dollars this all makes a lot more sense as you can see a 14k yellow white gold omega chain necklace how did goodwill get that six hundred dollars we got some seven nes mario rpg ninja turtles um gun force games like guys a lot of this stuff is stuff that's donated right and then they pick through it and then they send it to the to the auctions because they know it'll go for more money so as you can see there's a lot of different categories there's a lot of different things that you can find on here um I, for me i like to look at collectibles let's go to let's see if they got collectibles it's right there and as you can see oh look two Yu-Gi-Oh cards red eye black metal demon 68 dollars this is the stuff i'm talking about goodwill started where to help the community oh there here's the thing when you're a reseller and when you're a person who needs to shop at goodwill because you can't afford to buy brand new things it's two different struggles right for me i'm speaking on the behalf of being a reseller and a consumer because i do buy stuff for myself at goodwill and as a consumer i would not my I, I don't want my local goodwill to be sourced through to have all the high valuable items sent off somewhere so they could auction them where that's the whole point of goodwill the whole point of goodwill is to where when you go there you find things that are worth more money that you can get for less money yeah 21 bids currently 70 dollars and it's three days left saying shop goodwill is a bad thing teenage mutant ninja turtle figure god i couldn't get it out right here this is something that you would that you find all the time in, in your average goodwill you'll find stuff like this nope they took this out of a store it's has a bid right now for 37 dollars. disney jungle book plush doll 20 dollars. buy it now like when did your average thrift store where every single plush doll is two dollars or 99 cents when when you have them going through and, and trying to sell stuff at resale value instead of being an actual thrift store then what you have is you have average products with the overinflated price for example two pack of teenage mutant ninja turtles you'll find this sometimes oh 49.99 or 40.99 um it has one it has seven bids in football pictures not autographed just framed pictures vintage 1998 beanie humphrey the camel ten dollars like stuff like this the fact that there's someone in their organization that wants workers to go out of their way to find items like this to send to shop goodwill so they can auction them off it just shows you i've probably said this 10 times in this video but i want to be very clear and i don't want my words to be misinterpreted i don't want anyone to be able to manipulate what i'm saying however if goodwill is a charity and that hires disabled workers they can pay at least minimum wage if they're going to start raising their prices now my, by the way this may just be a huge rant like oh i went to a rich neighborhood and the prices were more no this has been a long time thing that i've been noticing it's just i figure if i went to a richer neighborhood would it justify the cost of goods 
For example, the average pair of shoes at your average Goodwill is $5, right? Well, this one, it was $10 per shoe. You can see the $5 difference. It doesn't make a difference of the shoe. It's just they're charging five more dollars because they probably know the area people can afford. There is a standard set and it seems like the standard is just rising and rising and rising. I'm saying a lot of money from the Goodwill auctions goes to a great cause. Um, they are a legal charity. However, um, when they're paying their employees less than minimum wage, this is kind of a rant, but in my opinion, it seems to me that Goodwill is a charity that operates like a machine. Um, still, I just want to make this very clear. Goodwill is still a great store to go to source items for resale. You also have to take into consider inflation in the market that you're in. Some things may be worth more at your Goodwill than others. That's a huge consideration that you have to take in as well as what state you live in and where you're at and what's popping. The whole sentiment of what I really want to get across to you guys is that when you're going to source and you're going to look for legitimate items, Goodwill is a great place to go. However, you really, really, really are going to have some obstacles. I just want to be fully transparent. I'm a real person. I don't make any lies up. I'm a full-time reseller. I have nothing to hide. Like, going to Goodwill is awesome. A lot of things happen that a lot of people don't talk about. Like, there's no behind-the-scenes type of videos that I've seen. This is why I'm making this video, guys. I felt very inspired to make the video, which is the whole topic and thesis of my video changed. I wanted to see if you go to a rich neighborhood, would the items that you source be better items to resell? That video topic is awesome. It kind of changed to overpriced items at Goodwill and how ridiculous recently these prices are going up. It seems to be that the people in the store are starting to actually take the good items out of the store and sell them on shopgoodwill.com. And when you go to the store, you're basically left with nothing. Now, I am a reseller. This is not a, this is, that's a full disclosure. I am speaking from the side of a reseller. If you're not a reseller, you probably won't understand, which is completely fine. You'll probably say, stop complaining, stop crying. You just want to make money anyways. A uh, duh, that's the whole reason I, that's, yes, you're right. It just seems super unethical when a Goodwill gets items in their store. They cherry pick the good items, send them to shopgoodwill.com and then pay their employees four dollars an hour if goodwill was paying their employees fifteen dollars an hour and ha had great benefits the start of goodwill was to employ disabled workers not take advantage of them the reason why i'm mentioning that is because the prices of the store is going toward paying the workers and helping them whereas if the prices are skyrocketing and the workers wage are legally below minimum wage that to me is is wrong and I'm gonna stand up for people who don't have the voice like that. I don't know if you guys know this. I live in South Carolina. Over 1,000 employees that are disabled are paid legally less than minimum wage.